So hi guys, today I tried to explain how to code the uh, steering angle sensor on the BMW. This one is 89, but we're talking about this DTC sign and the uh, ABS and uh, something else, a big triangle will come up. So uh, practically, usually the problem is in the steering angle sensor, which is sitting behind the steering wheel. So you have to take the airbag first, then detach the steering wheel sorry just here we go and that's the unit yeah so you just remove the plastics around and there is four screws here i think one two three and four and you just remove the unit there's cables here behind one and two detach them too so usually problem is this uh, sensor when you have the, the problem with the stability control. So this is the easy part. Now uh, what it comes in play, you have to, after replacement, you have to code it because otherwise the car would be reading uh, genius Germans. They, they had to put it like that in order to spend you, uh, to make you spend money for coding this bullshit. It's bullshit, I know, but there's not much you can do about it. But anyway, I show you the easy way how to do it. Maybe not easy for everyone, but uh, it could be okay for, for those ones that they know a little bit. So, what I was using. I was using, uh, first of all, the NCS Expert. Alright, that's the program that comes usually with the bundle with all the bmw software easy to download on the internet so first of all you know i didn't know how to do it and i spent a little bit of time and i found out um, that practically you have the software but you don't have the profiles so what you have to do you have to download the profiles there's few of them on the internet but anyway once you have the profile you have to install that profiles in the uh, specific folders and then you have to load them. Now I'm going, not going to explain uh, the folders for the profiles. You can find that on the internet. I just show you what to do. So you just go load profile. Okay. And now let's say this one here is not bad. Recently I used expert mode. All right. And okay. All right. So now, uh, now you have to, Choose VIN. Ah, oh, sorry, we're choosing the, the chassis now. All right. So there's no E90, no E87. Uh, I'm just doing E89 instead. That will work for all of those series. Okay. So VIN number. That's my VIN number. Okay. I look cancel my VIN. Okay, and now we go to choose ECU, gas, okay, it's reading, now it should be, now I'm going back and I do process ECU, then you find this one here, DSC, so the dynamic stability control. You click OK and you do execute job. Okay, and here we go. On the dash, I have all that stuff that came on. Okay, and all done, all off. So that's all the story with the coding of this. Mm, stability control okay sorry for this focus but phone is not really the best option for doing that so anyway now I'm leaving this software okay everything went fine so now you have to activate that I don't know how to do with the uh, NCS. I didn't even bother myself, but the easy tool is this one here. All right. 
and now once you open you're going to open the s c sorry 87 program okay open and open now you have to scroll it down to to this position here I don't know how to read that but anyway double click on that you have all the stuff coming up once again and all off and you've done with the programming sorry for focus once again okay so then you just go to INPA you just go to ESTA whatever software you have cancel the the codes and you should be fine maybe you need to recalibrate that uh, it shouldn't be a big deal probably once you drive you just turn the steering wheel to the left to the right it should be okay otherwise I think INPA has some uh, options for recalibrating that but anyway that's the most important things uh, there's not many videos about that that was bothering me for a while so I have made this video all right hope it will be helpful for you and just good luck